Welcome to Energy 2D. This short video will introduce you to some of the features available to you in Energy 2D models. Notice first at the top of this model there's a color scale which corresponds to the temperature of objects within the model. An object that blue is blue is cold, an object that is red is hot. You can see that here these two objects, one red, one blue, are at different temperatures marked by the thermometers in the middle of them. Notice also that I can move a thermometer and it will record the temperature at that location. Let me put that back in the center here and if I press the run button here it will run the model. I can stop the model at any time and I can reset the model. Notice also there are other features available to you down here. I can turn a graph on and now if I run the model I can watch the temperature of the two boxes, these two objects, as a function of time. So the temperature changes as a function of time. If I click the thermometer in here, notice that I have now highlighted the top line indicating that the temperature has changed from its initial 40 degrees Celsius and it's going down. If I want to select this thermometer, it shows me this bottom line here, the yellow line. It started at initial degree, 10 degrees Celsius. I'm going to stop the model and show you some additional features. Notice that there's a graph behind, a grid behind this uh, graph, excuse me, and I can change that grid off. When I'm using the graph, it's a good idea to change that grid into the offset uh, selection so that I don't see those little lines behind there, which can be confusing. If I turn my graph on, I'm back here. I'm just about in an equilibrium here with two yellow boxes. What else do I want to let you know about this? Ah, pull-down menus. There are often pull-down menus for you to use to select different variables. So for instance, I can change my initial starting condition to 10 degrees Celsius. Let me reset my model. Change it to 10 degrees Celsius on the left side and change it to 50 degrees Celsius on the right side. And now if I turn my graph on and run the model, I can see a different change. While I'm in the graph, let me show you a few more features. There are these buttons here for me to rescale the y-axis. These up and down buttons show me that I can rescale the y-axis. If I want to rescale the x-axis, I can use the left and right arrows. Well, I think that's most of the features here available to you in Energy 2D. Just be sure to explore everything that's available to you in each model. Thanks. Bye-bye.